Picture your minus 80 and all the precious samples inside of it on the surface of Mars for a month or two. Can you imagine how much you would learn? Of course, the reality for many decades in the space microbiology community was maybe a strainer or two, if you're lucky, would get to go to the space environment. That's why the pace of discovery in fundamental microbiology research was so slow. It was incremental. There was just a severe shortage of access to the space environment. And the paradigm was essentially one investigator with one microorganism. And of course, in nature, there's countless microorganisms. And so we were barely scratching the surface of trying to ascertain what was happening when you put microorganisms from Earth in the space environment. But this all changed. And it changed by flying polar balloon missions over Antarctica, where incoming galactic cosmic radiation penetrates the Earth's protective magnetosphere, exposing samples to the space environment without actually having to go into orbit. We, the space biology community, came together and we advocated for research campaigns flown annually from Antarctica that were long lasting, multi month missions carrying massive scientific payloads of microorganisms up to 6,000 pounds. I mean, that's dozens of our minus 80 freezers, so to speak. So this was the game changer. We were able to access Mars-like galactic cosmic radiation by flying Antarctic balloon missions. In fact, the agreement shown summarized on this slide between the ionizing radiation on the surface of Mars and ionizing radiation levels measured in absorbed uh, silicon detectors was almost identical. So there was no longer a need to wait for these rare opportunities to send our microorganisms into space. We could do it annually together in an omnibus dedicated mission for space microbiology. And we flew active strains and passive dehydrated microorganisms. Some were dormant, some were growing. But it was really just anything that could fit within a tube. And we got so good at this that we were sending tens of thousands of biosafety level one strains from hundreds of different microbial genera each year. And then disseminating out all of those specimens to the broader community, working together then to figure out how these microbes from Earth were responding to the space radiation environment. And this totally changed the pace of discovery in our community. Now, of course, I've been speaking to the vision, but we need to come together as a community to make this happen. And so I would love for you to join us in a research campaign white paper that will be advocating for dedicated long duration polar balloon missions in order to expose more microorganisms to the sustained low dose galactic cosmic radiation environment from Antarctica. So if you're interested, please contact me. We look forward to working together. Thank you.